Hey y'all, it's me Sonia on my channel. So I'm um, back with part two of my plastic surgery experience in Korea with Doc Finder Korea and Cinderella Clinic. Um, this is just gonna be like the day of the surgery and like the recovery. Um, if you didn't see part one, you can check that out. It's like the consultation. If you're interested, I'll link it in the description. And obviously I went there with my sister. I'll link her videos in the description as well. So if you're interested in this, just keep on watching the video. Alright y'all, so here's me in the room after surgery. Uh, obviously, I did not get the V-line surgery that I was planning to get because Cinderella Clinic cared about my health more than anything. They decided that I wasn't healthy enough to get the V-line surgery since it is a major surgery. So, I'm really glad they were looking out for me in that way. Okay, so here's me the morning after the surgery. I just muted this clip because uh, my nose is all packed up and you couldn't really understand what I was saying. So, basically... I was trying to eat um, but my throat was really sore so that was uncomfortable and I couldn't sleep well because I had to like breathe out my mouth and my throat would get dry so I would like wake up choking <laughs> but yeah and here's Stella she was so nice I'm pretty sure she stayed there all night with me and my sister and here she's just explaining us how to take the medication and stuff that they're giving us our prescriptions like the antibiotics the pain pills and all that yeah, like I said before, the staff at Cinderella Clinic was really, really so nice. And Doc Finder Korea was there with us too. Anna from Doc Finder Korea was there with us. And yeah, her and Stella were a big help. And here's a clip of Anna from Doc Finder Korea. And she's helping my sister get her stuff together so we could discharge from the hospital. So yeah, I had to stay there overnight because of her V-line surgery. And after that, because Sally had the V-line surgery, she was on a liquid diet, so she couldn't really eat anything. Um, so Anna from Doc Finder Korea, she took us to the little market by our guest house to get like, milk, like soy milk and juice. Hey yo, it's me, Sawyer. We just got back from the clinic. I'll try to eat this. Public porridge, but it's hard. I can't breathe, and my throat hurts. Oh, uh, I look a mess, but that's life. Look at my eyes are all swollen, nose bleeding. Next day, we went back to the clinic to get the gauze taken out of our nose so that we could breathe better. And I was really excited because, like, I was miserable, y'all. I really could not sleep because <laughs> my throat would get so dry and I would feel like I was dying. But, yeah, that was really the most uncomfortable part was the not being able to breathe out of my nose. That was, like, the worst part for me. Alright, y'all, this might be a little, like, bloody, so if you don't want to see, then, like, skip this part, but... Yeah, she just, uh, the nurse is just, like, taking the tape off my nose really quick so she could get the gauze out. And she was really gentle, and it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt me, so, like, yeah, that's good. They're really, like, careful because, you know, you just got surgery, so your nose is going to be a little sensitive, so that's important. Okay, yeah, like, I was really nervous. I didn't know what this was going to feel like. I heard that it hurts. So I was like, you know, being a little bit dramatic, but it didn't really hurt. It was just like pressure, I guess. And Anna from Doc Finder was still, she was in there with me, like translating and stuff and making me like feel a little bit more comfortable because like I said, I was really nervous and I was there by myself. So I'm glad she was there. Anna would be giving me tips on how to like relax and stuff and you know, telling me to take deep breaths when they took the stuff out my nose so that I wouldn't be, you know, so scared. And it worked. And here the nurse is just like sanitizing my incisions and making sure it's all clean and stuff. Also, I want to add, like, a finder would contact me before, you know, what they were going to do at my next appointment so that I could prepare for it so that I wouldn't be so nervous. So, yeah, that's also a good thing that I want to let y'all know. Hey, it's me, Sonia. Um, so we just got back from the clinic. They took the stuff out my nose. 
So now I'm gonna eat some some food so I can take my medicine. Um, yeah, I got some pumpkin juice. Um, that's really it. I couldn't sleep that good last night because I couldn't I couldn't breathe out my nose. My eyes are so swollen too. Look. Yeah, I guess I'll eat this food and then perhaps I'll vlog again later today. But I don't know. We'll see you for now. Okay, so I didn't really vlog after that, but I did take pictures from when I was the most swollen. And like day two, my eyes were really swollen. And day three, this is day three, like my whole face puffed up. And I was starting to get a little bruising under my eyes, but that was basically it. And then here's day seven. You can see that most of the swelling in my face is down and my bruises are not that bad. So it has been a week since the surgery. And if you clean your nose properly, you can get your stitches removed. So we went back to the clinic. Hannah from Doc Finder Korea took us back to the clinic to get our stitches removed. And I was really nervous for this too, because I heard that this hurts a lot, and that scared me, so I didn't know what to expect, but it really wasn't painful. The most painful part was I had these silicone things in my, in the inside of my nose, like against the septum part. That hurt when they took them out, and that's what this is right here. That hurt. <laughs> You can tell from my face, it was a little uncomfortable, but it wasn't unbearable. And this is when they removed the cast from my nose. This didn't hurt either. It was just like a different feeling, but it wasn't painful. Right, and after that, I went and I had a deswelling treatment. It's just a, a laser that helps the blood circulation so you can deswell faster. And since I couldn't get the V-line surgery this time, um, they went ahead and suggested that I get Botox in my jaw. And I also wanted to get it in my shoulders because my shoulders are really big. So yeah, the chief doctor from Cinderella Clinic, he's the one that does all the stuff for the celebrities that come to Cinderella Clinic. And he's the one that gave me my Botox injection, so I was honored and thankful. Alright y'all. This was a little bit painful, like I was like, oh my god, like I started shaking because I was like nervous because it was hurting. I was like, oh my god, I didn't know it was, I didn't know how it was going to feel. I've never gotten Botox before and right in my shoulders, like in that muscle, I was like, oh my god. That yeah, that was painful, but again, it was bearable. It wasn't really that bad, like on a scale of 1 to 10. Maybe it was a five and a half, maybe a five. It wasn't that bad, but it did hurt, so. <laughs> okay, and here he is giving me the Botox injections on my jaw. Um, this didn't hurt at all. Like, the ones on my jaw didn't hurt at all. I don't know why the ones on my back hurt so much. Maybe it's just because of the placement, I'm not sure. After that, we came back to the clinic a couple days later to take more pictures. Mm -hmm. 
and I also got one final deswelling treatment and after that we had our final consultation with the doctors just to check to see if everything was healing well and properly so yeah the doctor just checked my nose and he also asked if I was uh, feeling any discomfort or anything and I really wasn't it wasn't painful it was of course it was a little bit sore and the only other thing that was weird to me was that my nose was twitching and that's what I'm explaining here and Stella from the clinic and Anna from Dr. Anna Kariga she was helping me you know translate That same day we met with the chief doctor again to get more uh, injections. This time we were getting contouring injections or fat melting injections. Alright y'all, I'm not gonna lie, this was really painful too. These injections hurt. The Botox did not hurt, but these hurt, just to let y'all know. So yeah, the contouring injections was like the last thing that I did, plastic surgery-wise. Yeah, so I do want to thank, again, Cinderella Clinic and Dr. Vina Korea for giving me this opportunity and, you know, being so nice and helpful and professional and helping me through all of this <laughs> and recommending me to Cinderella Clinic because I don't know if I would have went anywhere else I don't know how it would have went honestly but I am glad that I decided to go to Cinderella Clinic all right y'all and here are my <laughs> before and after pictures y'all the before though I was murked but three months later, she is snatched. She is snatched. I'm really happy with the results. I'm happy I went to Cinderella Clinic. I think they did a great job. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but like the Botox that I got on my shoulder, my neck looks a little bit longer now because my, my muscles in my shoulder aren't as big. And yeah, so it was worth it. The pain was worth it. Um, the contouring injections also like made my face slimmer around my chin area where they injected me and yeah so since I didn't get the v-line surgery that did help a lot the contouring injections and the Botox helped a lot so like look at my profile that's so crazy like how my mouth looks like it's protruding because my nose and now my nose is like snatched and my mouth doesn't look like that anymore which is crazy to me but I guess that's science. All right, here's the clinic info and Dr. Fina Korea info. Also, the next plastic surgery video is going to be a Q&A. So if you have any other questions, be sure to leave them in the description. And yeah, that's it. Thank y'all for watching. Go ahead and turn on the notifications. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.